University students are working to preserve a piece of the past for generations to come. Bethel Cemetery is the oldest historically black cemetery in Huntington. It's estimated that around 500 people have been buried there, but with less than 200 tombstones standing, there are hundreds of unmarked graves. One Marshall student, Mackenzie Staten, is working to make sure those graves are found and recorded. This cemetery has been here since the early 1920s. We have people buried here from the 1880s. And in the 1800s, headstones were often just that, just stones, more of a marker than the standing memorials we see today. And over time, those markers can be lost to history. Volunteers have been coming out to Bethel for like years and years, um, but like nothing really permanent has ever really stuck in terms of like a volunteer team to like help fix things up. Hidden in among trees on the top of a hill in Huntington, preserving sacred ground at Bethel Memorial Cemetery, the oldest historical black cemetery in Huntington. Marshall student Mackenzie Staten taking the initiative as part of her capstone to make sure that history isn't buried over time. Today we're here at Bethel Memorial um, Park Cemetery to do a GPR survey, which is ground penetrating radar, to purposely look for unmarked graves. With the help of her professor, Carl DeMuth, and fellow students, Mackenzie will take the data from this device, a ground penetrating radar, to create a digital map of what is under the ground surface. It, it sends a pulse of EM radiation into the ground, um, and then that pulse uh, reflects back. Um, if it hits something, then it comes back at a different modulation, at a different time, and so it, it works just like a radar system would typically work, but instead of like, pushing it through the air, like you see with Doppler radar, they're pushing it through the ground. In a city with such a rich black history, preserving this site has unfortunately been put off to the side over the years. But recently, there's been an effort to fix that. In the 1970s, it fell into a state of disuse. Um, eventually, um, after being abandoned for several years, it grew into a forest. Uh, there were efforts in the 90s to kind of clean it up, but those were short-lived, and there have been much more recent efforts to do it again that have been a lot more successful. A school project hoping to create a springboard for others to learn and preserve their own local history. Because there's other historical African-American places and events and sites here that not many people know about. And it's a shame because it is a true part of Huntington's history. This cemetery has been here since the early 1920s. We have people buried here from the 1880s. So I believe that pushing out that information and letting the community know like, hey, we're here, you need to know about this, it's really important. And special thanks to Dustin Weekly for his work on that story. They are also trying to attempt a high-resolution GPS tracking that could make a map for Bethel and would give them each a chart where each gravesite would be and potentially who could be buried there.